let me get my uh, screenshots ready for the for the little story. This one's gonna be pretty short. I mean, I, at, at least I think so. So, sometime last year, this was a while ago, met this girl for the sake of the story. I'm gonna call her David. Okay, now David was an undercover freak. I knew that. Like this girl was freaky as hell. One day, she was like, do you want an RP? I'm like, what the fuck is that? She said, role play. I said, um, okay, I mean, I've never done this before, but fuck it, let's do it. First role play was, we was at the movies, and then we ended up fucking. That was it. Mind you, this is all going on through kick, right? So we're sending messages back and forth. I'm like, okay, this is this is new to me. This is something else. And she would always want to do this. Like, this was her thing to do. So, fast forward, last month of this year, she wanted to role play. And I just got the fuck out of school. And I was hot. I'm telling you, I was mad at the world. But the funny thing is, I don't remember why I was mad. I was just, it was just one of those days. So she said, do you want to role play? And I'm sitting in the back of the bus like, you know what? Yeah, we about to fucking role play right now. Now, I'm going to add in that every time we role played, she was like, she was taking charge of everything. But not today, nigga. I don't know if this girl has any fetishes or anything, but this role play we was doing that day, it was teacher and student, right? I was the teacher, she was the student. And now, I'm about to read off, like, the screenshots and shit that I have. I said, okay, I welcome all the students to class. David said, I go to my desk in the back of the room, right? <laughs> I said, I pass out pop quizzes and shit because I'm like that. David said, I say, oh my God, under my breath and put my hand on my face. Mistake number one. I say, I look at you and say, what's the problem? David said nothing. And then I said, I go back to my desk. David said, I finished my quiz and put my head on the desk. I said, pick that head up. No sleeping in this class. David said, I lift my head up and stand up and walk out of class. Strike number fucking two. I said, I walk after you because it seems to me like you need that ass beat. Now, let me add in. Every role play lead it up to some freaky shit. Not this one, nigga. I was mad. Remember that. David said, I slammed the door. I said, I open it and grab your arm and yell at you. David said, I'm tired of this. I say, I look dead in your eyes and say, <clears throat> I will fuck your world up. David said, I yank my arm away and run down the hall. Strike number three is a wrap. I'm, 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 I'm mad now. I'm really mad. I say, I chase you and catch up to you, stop you, and then swing at you with all my might, but I miss and put a massive dent in Billy's locker. She said, I run crying and I run down the stairs. I say, that's when I trip your punk ass. David said, I fall down the stairs and I grab my shoulder and cry. I said, then Miss Harris comes out of her class. You know the 90-year-old one, not the fine-ass 28-year-old one. Yeah, her, because she heard the noise. Then she tries to aid you. I knock the bitch out. David said, I run towards the principal's office, you know, because my shoulder hurts. I said, I run to my car and pop the trunk on your bitch ass. David said, I pass out before I get to the office for my shoulder. I said, I pick you up. Fuck this class. Fuck this job. Bitch, you gotta go. I kidnap the bitch and I take her to my house, right? Take her to the house. I said, I look at you with a smile. You want something to eat? She said, no. I said, bitch, I'm about to go make us some sandwiches. I said, what kind of chips you want? She said, it doesn't matter. I said, bitch, I got some stale ass Fritos. That's what we gonna fucking eat. She said, I start picking at the food. I said, bitch, I will back the piss out of you. Don't play with your fucking food now. She said, I hurry up and finish the food, but I got a headache. I said, I got two Zandy bars underneath the sink. Bitch, we about to pop these and have a motherfucking party. She said, oh, no, no, thank you. I said, I just look at you. Bitch, BRB. She said, I sit there. 
I come back with the Zanny bars and say, here, pop this. I said, come upstairs. We about to go play this motherfucking PS4. You ready? She said, I'm not very good at games. I said, bitch, I'm going to teach you. Now, come walk your ass up these motherfucking steps right now. Yeah. So now we're upstairs playing the game. And I said, I don't like losing at all. I'm just warning you. She said, but I don't know how to play. I said, bitch, you better learn quick. That's what you went to school for, right? Well, not no more. She said, okay, then we'll start playing the game. I said, it's two minutes of the game, and we already losing because of your weak ass. She said, I'm trying my best. I said, bitch, try harder. She said, okay. Then she said, I reach and give you a hug. I said, and then I hit you with the back of my fist so motherfucking hard and yell at you and say, bitch, look at the fucking game. And then she said, I'm trying my best. I said, bitch, do better. That's it. We we never finished. I mean, I, I think I'm going to have to hit her up with the, I, I think we're going to have to finish that shit because that shit was fun as fuck for me. Should I kill this bitch or should I let her go home to her family, you know, all her loved ones? Or should I or should I become a cannibal and eat this bitch? What should I do? I am on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z.